What's up, guys? We need to talk about family vlogger Jordan Cheyenne. She was caught directing and guiding her minor child to fake cry for a thumbnail for their YouTube video. Go like this. Put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. She's crying. As you guys know, the thumbnail plays a key role in getting people to click on YouTube videos, which in turn translates to money. Jordan is currently receiving a ton of backlash over social media in regards to this clip, but personally, I believe that this clip shows everything wrong with family vloggers. So let's get into it. So today we're talking about family vlogger and YouTube mommy, Jordan Cheyenne. She has over half a million subscribers on her channel. But before we get into who she is, let's go ahead and take a look at that viral clip. I do want to give you guys a trigger warning because you are going to hear her son, Christian, in distress in this video. But nonetheless, Cheyenne is more worried about getting the right YouTube thumbnail than she is her own son's mental health. And to give you guys some background, pretty much they were outside the vet in this video clip. They were really emotional because they just found out their new puppy has parvo, which is a very scary disease for dogs that takes a lot of lives in the pet world. But let's go ahead and react to this clip. And again, it's really disturbing. Pray for us. We appreciate it. I love you guys. <laughs> come here. Come closer for the video. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Put your head, put your head right here. Come closer. Put your head down here. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Go like this. No, Mom, I'm not just usually crying. No, I know, but go like this for the video. Go like this. Put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to watch because obviously she meant to cut the clip whenever she put her hand over it, but she accidentally included this inside their video, which was titled, We Are Heartbroken. Of course, clickbait with their son crying, and you can see that he's obvious, or you can't really see it because he's blocked out, but you can hear that he's obviously emotional, and she's more worried about having his hand in the right place, have your mouth open, so we can get that clickbait to get these views. And again, using her son's emotions and manipulating him at a young age in a vulnerable state. I don't know, mama, she's crying. She crying. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me. I'm actually crying. I know, look at me, look at me. Look at the camera, look at the camera. That clip gives me major anxiety. I can't even imagine how her son feels. I do want to thank here for the T2 from Instagram for taking this clip and posting it on their social media because this mother, Jordan Cheyenne, I guess she's a YouTuber before she's a mother. I mean, that's absolutely sick how she's using her child in this situation and it shows you guys what family vlogging is all about. Now let's talk about who Jordan Cheyenne is because like I just said, it seems like she's an influencer before she's a parent. Here's a snapshot of her Instagram page. As you guys can see, she has over 100,000 followers. And here's her YouTube channel. She's got over half a million. And this is the account she uses to exploit her children for financial gain, making her son over here like take his emotions and make them worse for camera, which was really sick to watch. As soon as Jordan saw that that clip was included in her YouTube video, she of course took it down really quickly and she's actually addressed the situation. Her apology video wasn't much of an apology. It was still focused around the dog and the dog's health. But in this video, she did address that moment and she said that she's gonna, you know, step back and evaluate the situation. But I wanna read a few comments from that apology video to you guys. This 
person wrote, The problem with your deleted video is the way you handled it, treated him, and ignored his concerns when he tried to voice while he was crying and mourning over his pet. It's one thing to take a thumbnail and share bad times, but that was seriously damaging in several ways. This person wrote, I want a real legitimate reason why you spoke to your son like that. You're an adult and fully aware of how wrong it was. I would rather her stay off her channel and focus on mending the wound she started. We don't have to sit back and kiss her behind because she's a YouTuber. You put your life online. You put your mistreatment of your son online. Be better and do better, at least for your son. This person wrote, why is everyone saying everyone makes mistakes as if she isn't a weird mom vlogger who exploits her kid's emotions? She got busted. We all saw the uncomfortable, ugly truth. It looks like Jordan actually liked this comment, and this person wrote, I understand that nobody is perfect and everyone makes mistakes, but Christian was actually crying and upset, and you yelling at him to act sad for the video was disturbing, and also your fake crying. I always thought you were one of the more genuine people on here, but after seeing that clip, it's making me question anything you say and how you act from now on. Let's go back to her apology video real quick. She told everyone that she's open to constructive criticism, but the bullying and hates and threats are unnecessary, which I never condone that type of behavior, bullying and hate and stuff, but... At the end of the day, she did something so incredibly wrong that there's no way there's not going to be backlash. And in her video, she claims that she's sharing like the real life stuff, which again, it's not really real life if you're over here pushing this whole crying. And was she even emotional that her dog was sick? Because I mean, you can't trust anything that she's doing now. But she actually talks about having hard parenting struggles with him, the ups and the downs, and actually Recently, both of them got evaluated for something mental, which she claims she's going to talk about at some point when she's ready. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't exploit your son any more than you already have. Please keep whatever mental health conditions he's uh, experiencing private. Please stop exploiting your children. It's so incredibly disgusting because you're a woman who is such a boring YouTuber. I'll say it. You're a boring YouTuber that you have to use your children for content. And at the end of the day, they are just kids and they don't deserve this. And this moment that Christian went through with you will haunt him for the rest of his life. And who knows how many more moments are like that. But let's go ahead and talk a little bit about her business because I was doing my research on her and I... I found something that was kind of icky. So you guys know how a bunch of YouTubers create these courses where they promise you that you're going to get Instagram followers and famous. Well, guess what? She has a full blown course just like that. And I've actually called out other YouTubers in the past for doing this. And I'm calling her out right now. I'm telling you guys, there are certain things that you can definitely learn on the internet on how to be, you know, a better influencer or YouTuber, but there's no way in hell that this woman is going to make you an influencer like she's promising because this world is very unpredictable and she just kind of happened to become a YouTuber. And now that she's a YouTuber, she's using her platform to not only exploit her children, but also exploit her subscribers and to convincing them that she can make them a star too. And she has so many different courses that she offers on her website. And I think it's just another huge money grab. I'm sure she's done a bunch of these, but this one's just sick. Like for example, her Abundance Academy that she sells to her subscribers. Thankfully, it's $200 and not $2,000 because I've seen some courses that are like, like over a thousand dollars but still for two hundred dollars you're not going to become some type of influencer and there are several other type of products that she sells on this page and honestly i could look into it more because i don't believe that any of these people are actually succeeding in her course there are any testimonies or examples of people who have grown so i question this course that she's selling to her fans and at the end of the day, she can go and do a whole apology tour. I know she went to the Dad Challenge podcast and did an apology there. And that's cool. I'm glad that she's apologetic over this. But I don't believe that she and her core truly understands what's wrong here and why it's so effed up to do this family vlogging and to exploit your children. And I'm sorry, lady. Again, you're just boring on your own. So go become more interesting or something because making your kid cry extra harder for this thumbnail so that you can go and clickbait your dog's 
health. Like, that's just too far for me. And I believe that she needs to not only take a huge break, but also reevaluate her parenting relationship with her children and consider whether it's worth more to be a loving and caring mother who's here to nurture her children. Or does she just want to be an influencer with likes and views? And it's all about the cliques at the end of the day. It's absolutely sick. And I have to say for myself, I don't accept her apology. I've watched two apologies so far on Joss's channel and her own channel, and I don't accept it. I think this clip that went viral shows exactly who this woman is and why it's so dangerous that these children are put on the internet every single day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's my email below. If you have any other video ideas for me, let's go ahead and open this one package from someone named Sierra. Um, I've got a bunch of things piling up, so I wanted to open this one for you guys. Aw, oh, so cute. So they drew my name Sloan right here. Oh, actually, it looks like they drew it and then pasted it on. And they write, Sloan, I just wanted to thank you for always keeping it real and not being afraid to speak on situations that need attention. I came across your channel at the beginning of this year and I've watched religiously since. Oh my gosh, thank you. You have taught me so much and made me aware of topics I otherwise probably would not know anything about. I admire and value your opinion on things and appreciate how you never judge and actually have empathy for others. In my opinion, you are definitely one of the realest on YouTube. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Never stop being you. Love, Sierra. And then it looks like she's got um, her Instagram and Twitter, so I'll go and follow your page. Thank you so much, Sierra. I really appreciate the letter, and I'm going to keep it real on Instagram or on Insta on YouTube. Well, actually, real on Instagram, too, if you want to go follow me. It's listed below. But anyways, thank you guys so much. We're approaching 500,000 on this channel, and I'm incredibly grateful. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.